Ah, the Simpsons. The world's longest running animated TV show. Everyone knows who the Simpsons are, even if you're not a fan. The most famous Simpson character has to be Homer. He's the overweight patriarch of the Simpson family. We've come to learn a lot about Homer over the years, so for this reason I'd like to speak about the illnesses and conditions that Homer Simpson is likely to have, or at risk of having as a result of controlled and uncontrolled factors. So let's get started. Before we get started, I want to preface one thing, that I'll be looking mostly at Homer in regards to his overall arc of the series and not necessarily looking at individual episodes. episodes. For example, there's one episode titled Homer's Triple Bypass in Season 4 where he has a heart attack. I won't be using individual examples to make my case because in 32 seasons of the show you could probably make an argument for just about anything. I'm looking at reoccurring themes over the course of the series. Firstly, we have to look at Homer Simpson objectively. We have to look at risk factors that will determine how healthy Homer Simpson might be. The obvious ones is that Homer is overweight, he drinks excessive amounts of alcohol, he lives a sedentary lifestyle, and he's frequently seen eating excess amounts of junk food. Now some less obvious ones are his age, his socioeconomic status, working conditions, physical environment, education, and his coping skills. The first illness that Homer is at risk for is diabetes. Being overweight, he's the highest risk factor for diabetes. Also, so is where a person keeps their fat. Someone who keeps their fat in their abdomen has a higher risk for diabetes than someone who's elsewhere, like the hips or the thighs. And Homer has plenty of abdominal fat. Another risk factor is inactivity, sedentary lifestyle, and Homer Simpson is very famous for this. The second is liver complications whether it's liver cancer or liver cirrhosis. Homer is famous for loving and drinking beer, and one symptom of these complications is ascites, which is a buildup of fluid in the abdominal cavity. This manifests as large, hard abdominal distension. Another point, funny enough, is that one key sign of liver complications is jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin. And everyone knows that the Simpsons are famous for their yellow skin. However, since most of the characters are yellow in the show, including the children and babies, I can hardly count this one as a point. The third is cardiovascular disease and stroke. It's no surprise that Homer is a fan of junk food, and mixing this in with a sedentary lifestyle and him being middle aged it puts him at a high risk for high blood, pre high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and this puts him at risk for any type of cardiovascular disease. He's also very easily irritable and is shown on multiple occasions choking Bart. This suggests that he doesn't cope with anger and stress very well, which can lead to elevated blood pressure. Another point I'd like to make is related to Homer Simpson's socioeconomic class. Homer barely passed high school and did not attend any post-secondary education. He works at the nuclear power plant and he makes a modest middle class income. The, S the Simpson family is a single income household. Time and time again, the show makes it obvious that money is tight and they mock the low quality food that they eat. It's kind of a recurring gag on the show, but this intake of cheap and very likely processed foods can be directly attributed to one's income, social class, and education. So cheap and processed foods are also high in salt, preservatives, and fat, which leads to cardiovascular disease and other illnesses such as cancer. All the previous examples are also arguments to how Homer is at risk for cancer, but Arguably, Homer's biggest cancer risk is his job at the nuclear power plant. Radioactive material is carcinogenic, and I can't say anything about real nuclear power plants, but the one that Homer works at is seen time and time again to be well below safety standards. You can always see plenty of radioactive material just laying around, or leaky pipes dripping glowing green goo. And Burns is ultimately responsible for this. He puts his employees' health at risk, but he's also putting the entire town's health in jeopardy. He's always seen illegally dumping radioactive material just to save a buck. And this is evidenced by the famous and comical three-eyed fish, Blinky. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more, and check out our other videos. If there's any other fictional character you want analyzed, leave it in the comments. I'd like to do it again since this one was pretty fun. If there are any diseases I missed, let me know, and I'm sure there are, since there's really an endless number of illnesses and diseases, and even more episodes of The Simpsons to prove your point. Have yourself a great day.